Hi everyone, today we're gonna to make our Savannah sunset. We're gonna use the warm colors, which are red, orange, and yellow. First thing I'm gonna do is wet my brush, tap my brush on the towel, dip it in my red paint, and go horizontally, because I want it to go across the paper, which is horizontally. I'm gonna clean my brush off, tap it on the towel and dip it in the orange and do the same thing. Then I'm going to go back with the red so that they blend together. I'm going to go back now, tap it, clean off my brush, make sure it's nice and clean so I can go into the yellow. If you notice, I am blending the yellow into the orange so that you can't see a line where they meet together. And every time I dip, I dip into the water, I make sure that my brush is nice and clean. I tap it onto my paper towel, and I'm going to dip the red in there now. Now watch how I blend the red and the yellow together, and you're gonna see it makes a little bit of orange. Now I'm gonna dip the orange in again, and I repeat this pattern, red, orange, and yellow, to make my sunset. And I keep going down all the way to the bottom of the paper. Now when I'm done with this, I'm gonna to have to let this dry before I can go on to the next part. And the next part is the silhouette, which is what we talked about in class. And that's when you just see the black outline of something, like a shadow. So I make sure that my paints are nice and clean. I wash off my brush between colors. And I go all the way to the bottom of the table. If you notice, I have some paper underneath so I don't get my table all dirty. And now I have to let it dry. Now that I've let it dry, I have my black paint. And I'm going to paint my tree. First, I'm going to paint the bottom, the ground. And I make it a little bit wavy because the ground is never going to be perfectly straight. So I'm going to make it a little wavy. And when I paint my tree, I paint my trees what I always say is Y's and V's make trees, and you'll see what I mean. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Y, and then I'm gonna make a V, and then I'll make my tree. And I use, we're gonna use only black because we're making, remember, a silhouette or a shadow. And that's a big word to learn, is silhouette. It looks just like just the shadow you're gonna see. And we're gonna make a giraffe today because we're gonna make a giraffe eating from a tree. So now I'm getting ready to paint my tree. And like I said, Y's and V's make trees. And I make sure I make a long line. There's my V. I turn it into a Y, and that's the trunk of my tree. And I make it look like a trunk at the bottom. Now I make my little V's. I make a V there, I make a V there. Now on each of those V's, I'm gonna make another V. Here comes a V and another V, and then I start putting little V's on it. Little V's on my Y's. Little V's, Y's and V's make trees. I need a branch right there, so I make a Y, a backwards Y, and put a V on it. Y's and V's make trees. And I keep dipping black back into my paint. Now I'm gonna put the top of that tree, and I remember when we looked at that tree, and we notice that it just had leaves at the very, very top of the tree. It didn't have leaves at the very bottom. It just had those leaves at the top of the trees. And that's what the trees on the savanna look like. So we don't want to put leaves all over it. I'm going to put some leaves down at that bottom branch there for my giraffe. And then it's going to come time for me to make my giraffe. So to make my giraffe, I'm going to make the head first. And it's sort of like a horse's head, so I'm gonna make an oval that's on an angle. I make an oval that's on an angle. I'm gonna put two ears on it. Then I make its long neck. 
And I have enough paint, I think, on my brush still. So I'm going to keep going all the way down, make that long neck. And then the body is going to be another oval. Kind of on an angle again. I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to make two legs in the front that are just long lines and two legs in the back that are just long lines. I had to make my body a little bit longer to fit those back lines. And then I gotta make sure my brush is really clean. I probably should have changed my water out at this point because I wanna make a sun. And you can see I have a little bit of black paint in my yellow, which makes it a little bit muddy. So I'm washing off my brush and I'm gonna make a sunset, making a big sunset. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. And then red is a very strong color. So I probably should have added a little bit of red, less red because it's a very strong color. But I have a big bright red sunset, just like in Animal King. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow, kinda to soften that out a little bit. But I have a big red sunset. And then, voila, you're done. You just have to let it dry. And when you're done, and it's all dry, wait till it's all dry, be sure to take a picture from above and upload it to Artsonia, and you will be all done. And voila, you will have a Savannah picture from Africa. Congratulations, I cannot wait to see yours.